And now I want to show to you how to assemble, use and disassemble, and therefore cleaning uh, the uh, classic uh, resetoscope. Here in front of us, we have uh, the, all the parts uh, that made uh, the resetoscope. We can start from the optics. The optic is a four millimeter optic uh, with uh, three different options of uh, uh, the view deflection. 0 degrees, 12 degrees, and 30 degrees. Uh, usually, people expert in uh, resetoscopy, they work with 0 degrees or with 12. Uh, 30 degrees is not used because of the problem due to the loss of uh, deepness into the vision, particularly when you extract uh, the uh, loop. So, it strongly suggests 0 or 12 degrees. Then we have the working element. The working element, uh, it's the part of the resetoscope where we have the where we insert the optics, the electrode, and we, are, and we move the electrode using this uh, uh, handle. The inner sheet, the inner sheet of the rotating system and the outer sheet. Assemble the inner sheet and the outer sheet. Uh, they look like this. Uh, to assemble correctly, you see there is a zero here and the zero marked on the top here. So you have to insert in this way in order to get the proper ang uh, angle and therefore to lock them. Now you have the system zero, zero, and the uh, uh, sheet is perfectly assembled. You see uh, the sheet is characterized by this uh, ceramic part, the ceramic parts uh, it's uh, useful for uh, isolate the electrode. It's located just in the middle of the ceramic part uh, and therefore the tissue for uh, the eating generated by the electrode itself when used. Then uh, we have the electrode. This uh, system, it's a bipolar, uh, bipolar resetoscope, native bipolar resetoscope, it means that has been designed to be uh, uh, bipolar and is not been transformed in bipolar from a, a, a monopolar one. So this increases the, the, the safety in your procedure. Uh, I was saying we have the electrodes, uh, we have different electrodes here, just three of the many we have. The, the, the knife, we use for the metroplasty or adhesolysis. The ball, when we want to uh, uh, coagulate a large part of, for example, for endometrial ablation. And uh, finally, the loop. Here we have the loop in front of us. We have different size of loop, we have different size of ball, and we have also the so-called uh, cold electrode from uh, Ivan Mazzon that are very useful for the um, myomectomy, to enucleate the myoma from the, uh, from the capsula. Uh, and last but not least, the electrical uh, cable. The electrical cable that I showed to you already in the video of the Autocon, in the video tutorial of the Autocon, is characterized, uh, characterized by this part where inside we have uh, a, a chip and when we plug this into the Autocon 300, the Autocon recognizes immediately the system and knows which parameter they have to show on the screen. So now let's go to assemble the scope. First of all, the lens into the working element, zero with zero, and then we lock. Now it's a unique part. In this case, on the opposite of the uh, classic hysteroscope, office hysteroscope, the LED cable goes on the top because uh, uh, in the lower part it will interfere with the handle, okay? Then uh, we have to take our electrode, for example, the classic loop. You see the electrode, it's open, there are two guides, one here and one here. They are open on the top, okay? They are open on the top. So we insert the two guides into the, into the uh, protection sleeve of the, of the optics and uh, until uh, they reach these two holes. Okay, here. And then uh, we push until we hear a click. 
the click is because the electrode was inserted here in this part. To release the electrode, we have to push this bottom and the electrode will be released. To replug again, like this, clack, okay? And it's done, we cannot move anymore the electrodes. So now the working element is prepared. The two sheaths that makes the rotation, uh, the rotating system are assembled, zero with zero, zero with zero, and then we go with the resetoscope with the zero, okay? So we insert the resetoscope, zero, click, and fix. Now the resetoscope is almost ready. The last part, the electrical cord, electrical cable. To insert, we have to move a little bit forward the working element in order to discover this area where we will insert the terminal here, the final part of the cord. Inside, okay. And now it's made. Okay, so now we have the receptoscope, it's ready. We keep it in this position. We give the cord to the nurse. The light cable goes over the leg of the patient. Irrigation goes over the leg of the patient. So we have two cable, the light cable and the inflow tube going on the top of the patient. And then the aspiration from below, below the leg of the patient together with the electrical cable. By so doing, we can move the uh, working element. It means we can uh, rotate the loop around the pathology, for example, keeping stable the two cables. Without the rotating element, if you rotate the scope, you will rotate also the two tubes. And this will uh, be quite, let's say, uh, uh, confusing. Okay, so rotation means you can do this without moving all the cables. It will move only the electrical cord and the light cable here. Once the procedure ends, we have to remove, first of all, to remove the connection. So light cable, uh, sorry, uh, electrical cable, light cable, irrigation, aspiration, out. We give them to the nurse. And then uh, we have to disassemble the scope, taking the first part of the external sheath, the second part of the rotating element, so the internal sheath, the lens out, and the ele electrode. So the electrode, recently we use only disposable one, so if it's disposable, disposable we throw it away. If not, it goes together with the other one reusable and we put in this uh, protection sleeve here in order to re-sterilize after cleaning obviously. We clean it carefully and then uh, we send it to sterilization in this uh, protection where the holes made possible the circulation of the hot water or the sustenance. Then we take immediately the optic and we go with the optic and we wash the optic. The optic must be just washed, we don't have to scrub with anything, just in our fingers with the soap we clean because the optic will never come in contact with any material or blood or anything else because it's protected inside the working element. So we clean it and immediately after we clean it with our fingers in order not to damage the very delicate surface of the lens, we put the protection on in order to make the system very resistant to ev eventually to damages. Don't forget to remove the external part of the uh, light cable connector in order to avoid to create a vapor pocket inside, you see? inside when you will when you will replug if it's not totally dry you replug the light cable if the light cable it's hot or generate a hot light it will burn the la the light cable fibers this one so instead of seeing this uh, uh, mirror like surface you will see black dots that means most of the fiber will be 
will be burned and not anymore usable. So you have to keep it this outside, this like this. The working element, you remove the electrode as I already showed to you. So this is finally the system. Not yet because you have the, the cable also, the electrical cable that must be sterilized. And don't forget to clean properly these two elements. These are the dirty parts. So you have to go under the water, high pressure waters, using always your fingers, but put under the water and you can uh, flow high pressure inside or you can close at the tip with one finger in order to allow the liquid to come out from the only opening is these holes around here, okay? Same things with the outer part, okay? Where you close first the lower part with one finger and then you close the two stop cock here. That means the water is forced to go from here down and will go out from the holes here, the irrigation holes. So you will perfectly clean all the area of the irrigation wall. Vice versa, after disassembling the stopcock, that it's uh, something you have to do every time you sterilize, here will be completely open. So you will close the final part with the holes like this with all your fingers and therefore the water applied here will be forced to come out through the two stopcock here, okay? So the system will be clean. You don't have to use brushes, anything. If it, this is done immediately after the surgery without waiting long time, whatever is uh, blood, tissue, debris are still fresh. It means they are not stitches on the, they are not dry, they are not fixed on the uh, metal surface. Only in that case you need to brush. But if you do this immediately, let's say within the first 10 minutes after the surgery, water and high pressure water will be, will be enough. So at the end of the story, you will uh, give for civilization the system like this. The electrodes, if you have reusable electrode, the lens protected, the working element totally clean, all the different parts, uh, you know, the light cable and the stopcock, inner sheet, outer sheet already clean, and the light cable. This is your box for sterilization. We are at the end of our video tutorial on the uh, classic Resetoscope 26 French. You saw how to assemble, disassemble, cleaning and maintain the, uh, the resetoscope. Uh, I hope all this information will be useful in your daily practice. Uh, I give you my regards and I uh, invite you to watch the uh, incoming videos. Thank you very much.